Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we will see how we can manage who can create M365 group in our tenant. So guys, before we proceed to our lab environment, let me brief you up like for our agenda of making this video. So guys, by default, uh, all the users can create M365 groups. And uh, this is also a recommended approach we could say because it allows users to, you know, start collaborating without requiring any, you know, IT assistance from their company. So guys, if your business requires that you can restrict who can create groups, you can restrict M365 group creation to the members of a particular M365 group or security group. So like if you are someone who is concerned about users creating teams or groups that that don't comply with your business standards, consider requiring users to complete a training course and then adding them to the group of allowed users. Okay. So now the point is like when we will, you know, restrict user for creating M65 group, like what will be then the limitations? So guys, uh, so when you basically limit who can create a group, it affects services that rely on group for accesses, including like your Outlook, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, Planner, and so on. So friends, now let's go to our lab environment and uh, let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So okay friends, now we are on our N365 portal. So uh, we'll click on, you know, the N365 admin center. So friends, now we are on our M65 admin center. I will click on this teams and group and we, here we have an active teams and group. All right. So for this video demonstration, initially we'll create a security groups. So basically the reason we are creating this security group, we will add only those member to this security group. So whom we want, you know, to create, uh, to allow of creation of groups because uh, the users don't, we will not add on this as a member on this group will not be have the permission to create group on different different you know services so for creating security group first of all we will give it a friendly name and please do remember this name because you will be requiring adding this name in the powershell script which will be running later so i will give it a name m365 group creation okay i will copy this i will add the description let's go to next if you we don't need any role assignment for this specific group. We'll click on next and you know, the group type is security, the name, this is a description and we haven't, you know, added any role for this group and we'll now click on create group. All right. So our group is now created. We'll click on close. Now we have created a group and let me show you, this is our group M65 group creation. So this is our group. We'll click on the name of this group. So, so first of all, we will have to, you know, add a group owner. So I will be the group owner. Let me type my name here. All right. And I only want in the entire organization, only myself to create, you know, the group. So for that, I will go to members and I will add member to, I will add, you know, my name as a member. So guys, if you want more members to create a group, you can, you know, add their account here. All right. So if I'll go back, I'm the owner and I'm the member. So it means when we will use this group, you know, for running that PowerShell script, only myself in the entire organization will be able to create the M65 group. Apart from me, any, mem any member, or any user of my tenant won't be able to, you know, create any M365 group. So I will close it now. So we have successfully completed our first part of creating, you know, the group. Now we'll uh, go open the PowerShell. So for that, let me type here PowerShell. And we will run this PowerShell as an administrator. Now we have to execute one script. So I have, you know, this is my script basically to, you know, allow only certain users to create M65 group. So here we have to, you know, the group name here, we have to enter the group, which we have just now created. So for that, I will, so make sure you are adding this group name without any error. There should be no spelling mistake. So it's M365 group creation. So I will enter here name M365 group creation. All right. 
and allow group creation will set it to false right now apart from this we don't have to make any changes so now before you know running the script i just want to you know log in using my another account so this is my another user account so i will log in let me authenticate all right so this is my user account uh, with the name of ritika i have logged in you know as you can see this is my account all right so if ritika will click on this app launcher and if she will open her outlook this is the outlook of ritika now we'll click on you know the people and here we have option of go to groups now from here ritika can can click on new group and she can create group all right so basically this is the thing which we want to restrict for our all the users right apart from myself so currently she is getting an option of creating the group from here similarly from other you know services she can you know create a group so guys as i as i have shown you ritika can currently you know create n65 group so now we'll go back all right so now we'll open our powershell script which is here and this is the script which will run so either you can you know save the script and just uh, you know select the path and then execute it but i will you know copy it and i will paste it in my powershell so we just need to execute the script okay so i got some error message let me check okay so we are getting error message because the module is not installed so first of all what we'll do we'll install the powershell module in order to get the script you know executed so i will copy this and i will type install scope and i want it to be for the my current account so we'll execute this command i will click on yes to all so as you can see uh, there are different you know packages which are getting installed in our pc all right and i will install this groups version as well again i will type install dash scope and dash current users then again yes to all so friends now we are good to go to install our you know the powershell script so currently by running the script we are we will we are allowing the users of this certain group to create n365 group apart from you know apart from this group if the user is not member of this you know particular group he will he or she will not be able to you know create any n365 group uh, like if you want to undo it you have to just uh, you know remove it and then here you have to type true then all the users of your organization will be you know again allowed for creation of group so now our powershell script is getting executed all right so as you could see we will we got an output like group allow creation this is the group id and enable group creation is set to false so which means our script is now successfully you know executed uh, we'll go back and we have to wait for some time and then we'll check now ritika is able to you know is able to create m65 group or not technically like we have you know executed the script she should not be able to get that option of creating groups in outlook and other rely services so we'll wait and we'll resume once you know the changes will take place okay friends so now we are here back on you know ritika's account and let's see after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes let's see now whether ritika is able to you know create m65 group or not so we'll first of all refresh this browser we'll click on app launcher and let's open outlook so here in outlook we'll click on this people tab and here we'll get option of go to groups so once we'll click on go to groups uh, if we'll click on this drop down menu now you can see this option of uh, you know creating a new group it disabled it's completely gray out so we have the existing groups of ritika is part of but we are ritika is not getting the option of creating a you know the new group so which means our script is now successfully you know executed and all the users now apart from rachit will not be able to you know create and create group so let's see for rachit what is the behavior for my account basically so i will go back okay 
so in m65 portal if i'll click on this app launcher i will go to outlook okay i will go to people go to groups and here you could see i am getting an option of creating new group so for me this option is not grayed out i can you know click on new group and from here i can create the m65 group so friends uh, like that's how we can you know restrict our users for creating and basically we can manage like who can create m65 group in our tenant like you can restrict users for creating m65 group so that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video